Okay, here's a good example of how I use Audition. This is a vocal track that's done on a dynamic microphone. It was grabbed in the spur of the moment because I didn't want to lose the idea. If I grab this track, go into Utilities, Launch Audition, it'll pop up an Audition. There's two things I want to do with this track now. One is this noise. Two is to normalize it. So the track, and I don't think you'll be able to hear the noise well on the speaker set. You really can't hear it too well. The way you do the noise reduction is just to grab something, and it's got to be a certain size. So that's why I always do a lead-in on anything. Go into Effects, and Noise Reduction, there's two processes that have to be done. One is to capture the noise print. So you highlight a section to capture. Gives you the warning window. I always have that pop up. Then you have to select the entire track and go back into Noise Reduction and there's keyboard shortcuts for these. Rarely do I change these settings. These are Audition's default settings. You can preview it, start tailoring it, do whatever you want. Um, then just click Apply. And you'll notice that this noise is going to reduce dramatically. If you want to take a second pass at it, you can. But you can see, based on that noise print right there, it removed it from the entire track. The other thing I'll do with it typically is just uh, normalize this to a minus one dB. Boom. That's done. And now you can actually listen to it. And what I'll do... I stand quietly in the spring. Then once this is done, it's nothing more than to hit Control S, which saves the file, close Audition, and now Sonar tells me, hey, your audio has changed. Do you want to reload it? Just say yes. And boom. There it is. Now inside of Audition, it's been destructively edited to what I can actually work with now. And that's it.